Alright guys, and welcome back. So this video is going to be my Monday video, and I think I'm going to title it something like Challenge Yourself. This is the class I'm going to be using, what's on screen, FAL, Grenade Launcher, Quick Draw, Crossbow with Tribal, with a Tactical Insertion and a Semtax. And you guys are probably thinking like, what the hell are you using right now? Like, I, I never use any of these things. <laughs> and and that's kind of the point of this video, is we're, we all kind of realize that this is the dead time in Call of Duty. It's getting close to the next one, but not close enough yet that there's any serious stuff going on. You're not getting ready for pre-orders yet or any of that kind of stuff. So it's just the dead time. It's like there's nothing to do but to just hang out. Oh man, I'm going on a tear with these explosives. And so this video is about challenging yourself, how you can continue to have fun with Call of Duty even during the dead time. I'm calling it Challenge Yourself because... It's about doing challenges in Call of Duty. We all know there's those little calling cards that you can collect and emblem items you can collect as you complete new challenges. This is kind of all this class is for. Is I don't use tactical insertions often. I don't use the grenade launcher almost ever or the tribal. I'm trying to get all my achievements done for my attachments. I've already got all diamond guns. I'm trying to go for all the attachments and all I have left are these two. So that's what I'm doing. Um, this is a live comm if you were wondering. So sometimes I get a little scatterbrained while I'm talking and playing. But the point of this is go for some challenges. They're built into the game for a reason. It makes it a little bit more fun. It gives you something else to think about. It's kind of I kind of think of it like a mini game. You just you're not just playing Call of Duty and trying to win the match. You're trying to you know oh maybe I'm trying to get my counter UAV challenge or the Guardian was a really hard one for example. Try to go for some th some of the challenges in game because they're things that we normally wouldn't do, and by following those challenges, you will challenge yourself as a player, and probably end up having some fun with it. You know, I almost never use the grenade launcher. In fact, I think the grenade launcher in Black Ops 2 is kind of underpowered. You have to be pretty close to him in order to get the kill. But the oh boy, oh no, I need to get the toss back. Oh. <laughs> You'll notice I was trying to get that toss back because I'm still trying to get that challenge. The I don't even remember what that challenge is called. See, like right there, I felt like that grenade launcher shot was pretty close. Not close enough. So I encourage you guys to try getting your guns gold. I have all my guns diamond at this point in the game because it's just been so long. Tried to seal his kill and missed. <laughs> um, so I've got all diamond guns. I've got almost all my attachments on except for the tribal and the grenade launcher. I am going for all the tacticals so i have my concussion grenades done but i'm going for flash grenades i'm going for everything I'm, I'm trying to get all of the challenges that i can get that includes game modes that includes you know attachments guns um kill streaks i built another class that's a ksg that it's a ksg class that's built specifically for going for kill feeds so for that one i'm trying to get that you know eight or nine kill feed challenge whatever it is oh that's my teammate <laughs> i don't need to shoot him um and so so build classes that aren't like try hard classes build classes that are catered towards doing different challenges sometimes it's fun to even not do challenges that are in game like the title challenges but it's also fun to do challenges like with your friends occasionally me and some of my clan members will say all right let's do executioners only and search and destroy and see who comes out best and we'll just see who plays the best with just the executioner and stuff like this, even though it seems kind of trivial, is really neat. It's It allows you to become a better player. You'd think, like, oh, grenade launcher doesn't matter. But, you know, say you scavenge something, you pick it up off the ground, and they're running grenade launcher. It can actually be quite valuable in some situations. Say you're cross-map trying to save a flag. Well, by learning the arc on the grenade launcher, you can maybe get a cross-map um, hit with that. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have challenged. So, just keep that in mind. Try different weapons. And try going for the challenges. I know the ones I need to really work on. I've already got almost all of the... I've got all the primary and secondaries done. I've got almost all the attachments done. I don't have my lethals done. I have almost all the kill streaks. I only have two... I think one or two kill streak ones left. But, by doing these, it's... You'll notice that a lot of YouTube commentators at this point, like Woody's Gamertag, for instance, or Drifter, they're all navigating towards Battlefield or Minecraft or some other game at this point in God's life cycle because it's so old. And I'm still... I mean, I'm navigating to some other games as well. You'll notice I'm playing Seven Days to Die but in Minecraft. Um, 
but I'm still playing Call of Duty daily. I'm still really enjoying it, trying to grow my clan, having some fun. Oh, hit marker. So, I guess that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this commentary. Just challenge yourself, do the challenges that are built in-game, challenge your friends, go for high score per minute, high kill feeds, go for fun things that you wouldn't normally try. They'll keep the game interesting, they'll make you a better player, because by using these diverse guns, especially with ghosts coming up, you're not going to be familiar with the new guns and ghosts. So by becoming familiar with things that you're already have access to, that'll allow you to become more adaptable going into ghosts. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. I think I laid down a pretty decent game for that weird class, two bloodthirsties and a triple kill. Um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Welcome to the end of the video. If you've made it this far, maybe I deserve your like. You can click that down below. If you aren't subscribed already, you can subscribe by clicking on the blue button in the top right. On the left is going to be my live stream from yesterday for 7 Days to Die. I'm going to keep playing that game. And on the right is going to be last week's episode of Coach O'Hapel, so you can go ahead and check that out. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you over there.